Here's the field for tonight's fifth race. Number one, U.S. News, owned by Jim Arledge and Sturgill Lohman with Dave Miller. Two, at a penny, owned by Warren Holland with Mike Wilder. Three is Rambling Wick, owned by Thomas Watson and William Watson with Jeff Fout. Four, Austin K, owned by Charles Conrad and Jermaine Benton. Charles Conrad aboard. Five is Idlewild Hanover, owned by the Bolliard Farm, driven by Jeff Bolliard. Six, Rachel's Rubin, owned by Wilma Steyer, Dallas Miller in the bike. Seven, Bannock, owned by Dean Collins and Diane Elliott in the bike, Dean Collins. Morning line is 7 to 2. Eight, Smokin' Samadhi, owned by Kelly Young with Charles Smith, Jr. Nine, Noble Town, owned by Earl Ader, Ron Fuster, Pat McAllister, and Benny Holler with Dan Ader. Ten, Rick and Dick, owned by Rhonda Stidham and Linda May. Rocky Stidham is in the sulky. Field for the fifth in the first half of the twin trifecta. Ten minutes till post. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacey with Rachel's Rubin on the far outside taking the lead. Here comes Idlewild Hanover to join them. Up on the far outside, Bannock Park three wide of the quarter in third. Taking over fourth, Rambling Wick after that it's U.S. News as they make their way to the turn. Rick and Dick is next, followed by Ada Penny. After that it's Austin K in eighth. Smokin' Samadhi is ninth. Noble Town is tenth and last. Seating arrangements are complete. Moving by the quarter, 29 and two. Field of 10 drives past the stands. Bannock under Dean Collins is there by an easy length and a half. Idlewild Hanover, the stalker in second. Prompting the pace in third, Rachel's Rubin. Rambling Wick skims the rail fourth. Here comes U.S. News up on the outside. Rick and Dick is underway. Here comes Austin K with Ada Penny getting shuffled back to eighth. Smoking Samadhi ninth on the outside. Noble Town the tailgate by the half. In a minute and two fifths, they're side by side and stride for stride. Hub to hub as they leave the half mile pole, head to three quarters. Bannock is there by a length. Driving up on the outside, U.S. News uncovered to second. Fuddled by Idlewild Hanover in third. Rick and Dick live cover to fourth. Here comes Austin Kay on the outside. Rachel's Rubin is along the rail. Noble Town is flying from the back of the pack. In between horses, jumping off stride. That was a 10, Rick and Dick, and that took nine. Noble Town out of it by three quarters in 131. Around the far turn. Bannock puts away. U.S. News opens up two. Idlewild Hanover closing from the pocket as they move inside the final 16th. It's Bannock. Idlewild Hanover, Austin K up on the far outside looking for a minor share, but it's all Bannock. Bannock, Idlewild Hanover, and Austin K third. Official. The exact the $53 even, exact the $53 even, first half of the twin trifecta, $98.90. Here comes Seven Bannock, five-year-old bay horse by Nero out of Proper Sabra, owned by Dean Collins and Diane Elliott of Columbus, driven and trained coast to coast by Dean, El Dean Collins, covering the mile here in two minutes and four-fifths. Number seven, Bannock, the winner. The windows are now open on tonight's sixth race. Field of nine as we start off our series here, series number 11 for three- and four-year-old Colts and Gelding, sponsored by Ald Crafters. And we'll go to the post here in 15 minutes at 9.18. Here's a top down in race five. Number one, U.S. News was seventh at a penny. Sixth, Rambling Wick was fourth. Austin Kay finished third, Idlewild Hanover second, Rachel's Rubin fifth, Bannock the winner, Smokin' Samadhi was eighth, Noblestown tenth placed ninth, Rick and Dick tenth after being disqualified from ninth for interference while off stride. Top down.